Bit, Martin. Yeah! If we keep going at this rate, we might actually make it to Animal Junction this way! <laughs> all we have to do is get over that herd of water buffalo down below. Oh yeah, look at them all! Whoa, what a herd of bovines! There's the junction! Whoa! Whoa, coming in! Look out below! Oh. <laughs> 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 a great landing! I wonder if the lemur has landed. Let's call him! Zabu Mabu! Zabu! Zabu, you made it! Hey, Zabu. Did you check out her landing? You know Zabu. He won't start yakking until he's done some snacking. Look what I have for you. Zabu sumac leaves. All right. Leaves. That's what lemurs like Zabu eat most of the time. Hey, guys, did you see how I ate my yummy sumac leaves? Wow, Zabu. <laughs> like the creature I saw on my way here. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> This animal who I did see Can you help me guess this mystery? When I saw her, she was eating grass And she was chewing and chewing And mooing and mooing Who could it be? This animal who I did see When she stood up, she had a pink balloon on her belly. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A pink belly bluer and chewer. Do you know who she is? All right. She chews and chews and chews. She moves and moves and moves. I know who the mystery animal is. Do you? Ah. A calf. And a mother cow. Oh, a manga, Zika. All the mystery animals are here, yeah. Mm. Come on in. Yeah, come in, come in. <laughs> hey, cow. Hey, baby cow. How you doing? A baby cow is called a calf, Zabu. Oh. A mother is called a cow. And a father is called a bull. All cows belong to a group of animals called bovines. And like other bovines, cows stick together in groups or herds. It's so fun being bovine. You got it, buddy. Thanks. This cow is a great mother. Look how carefully she takes care of her calf. And you can tell she's never very far away and is always watching out for her calf. Right? Right, she's a good mom. Check out the way a cow cleans her calf with a lot of licks. I don't think there's anything quite as slimy as a cow bath. The slimy baths are the best. Hey, my mind has a question. So where's your herd? I thought you said bovines lived in a herd, Chris. They usually do, Zabu. Mm. Cows are really social animals that live in groups, so their herd must be around here somewhere. 
Well, we'll find your herd. Yeah. Find we'll the herd. We're gonna find the herd. Yeah. It's herd finding time. I think the calf likes that idea. I think you're onto something. And I think the mom's looking for the herd, too. Hey, brothers, how do you find a herd anyway? Hey, I know. Maybe they need a snack before they meet up with the herd. Yeah. Oh, you already found a snack. Hey, let me try some of that. Hmm? I think I'll stick to sumac. Cows eat grass, which is really hard to digest, so they chew it twice. It's called chewing your cud. The cow chews up the grass and swallows it. It goes into the stomach where it starts to digest, but then the cow coughs it back up, chews it again before swallowing it for the last time. Listen to those chewing cud sounds. And if you're really quiet, you'll hear the swallow. Just came up again. And there she goes, chewing some more cud. Whoa, that's a lot of chewing. <laughs> hey, I'll call you Chewy. Yeah, Chewy. <laughs> What's she doing? Sucking on my fingers. Calves will suck on just about anything. Ooh, why does she do that? Well, a calf likes to check things out by putting them in her mouth, just like a human baby. She's hungry, Zavi. <laughs> How she's sucking on you. Whoa, wait, 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 whoa. Well, there's some serious cleanup going on in here, brothers. Calves oh. don't eat, we were so oh. sorry. No, don't worry, she won't eat you. Calves have incredible sucking power, but they don't eat lemurs. Uh, this is fun, but I'm stuck. Here, I'll help you out, Zavi. <laughs> Ready? Whoa. Here, let me grab your legs. Whoa. Gently. He's oh, really stuck. Careful. Count with me on the count of three. Whoa. One. Whoa. Two! Yeah. Ah. Oh. 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 We meant to do that. that. Uh. Oh, but I'm all covered in goo. Hey, that's it. I'll call you Gooey. But now I think we gotta get some food into her hungry tummy before we get her back to her herd. Uh, to the snack machine. Let's see. Chick and Kangaroo and Martin and me and Chris and Cal and uh, horse. Oh, well, there's no calf. Chris, Martin, well, th there's no food in the snack machine for Gooey. There's nothing in the snack machine, Zabu, because Gooey's mom is here. She has lots of milk to feed Gooey. Calves drink cow's milk and so do we. We drink it out of a glass, and we put it on our cereal. <laughs> Come here, Zabu. See this? This is an udder. It's where all the milk is made. Yep, this is the cow's incredible milk-making machine. An udder. Suddenly mangatsika. Ooh, that's noisy milk. Can I try some? Uh... Open up. Hey, who? Hubba hubba! That's a drink from Anana. Can I try milking Chewy? Yeah, go ahead, Hubba. Oh, Chewy won't mind. Oh no, Gooey does it all the time. She drinks about five or six times a day. Wow. Go right ahead. Okay, move over. Well, this is hard. Hey, stop that. No, no, this is very slippery. It's very getting more milk on me than I'm getting in the bucket. <laughs> nice try, Sabu. But now let's watch a real pro. Oh, so that's how Gooey eats. Did you see that? She hits her head on the udder to make the milk flow better. I can't believe my mind. Let me see. Wow. Gooey's a real super sucker. Look at her go. Hmm. I'm gonna do like Gooey. A mouth is a better milker. Hmm. More Gooey. That 
was utterly delicious. I think I'm so full, I... I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel cowish. How about you? Cowish. Uh-huh. I feel cowish. Cowish. I'm a big mouth boar, and I'm glad to be a cow. Now that Gooey's had lots of milk, we have to find Chewie and Gooey's herd. You're right, Zob. Hmm. I don't see a herd anywhere. Huh. How are we going to get Chewie and Gooey back to the herd? My mind just had an idea. Chewie has a bell. And if the herd heard it, maybe they'd come and get them. <laughs> herd, herd. I like that. <laughs> We're going to ring the bell. Great idea, Zabu. But how will the herd hear that little bell? We just have to make the bell ring louder, that's all. We have to make the bell ring so loud that all the other cows hear it. Good thinking, Zob. Let's make that cowbell ring louder with an Animal Junction Super Cowbell Amplification System. Let's build it. One super machine coming up. Me of one time in Sabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I bumped into, oof, well, I didn't know who I bumped into until she pulled her head out of the ground. It was Wiggy Waxwing slurping up root noodles. Hi, Wiggy, I said. Hi, Sabu. Oh, I can't talk. Oh, what was the root noodles? Wiggy was wigging out all over, gobbling up root noodles. <laughs> Go, Wiggy! Until she found a root noodle that wasn't a root noodle at all. It was baby Zabumafuasaurus. Hi, Wiggy, what a pleasure! Wiggy was so full of root noodles that all she wanted to do was slide down baby Zabumafuasaurus over and over. <laughs> So we slid down baby Zabumafuasaurus all day. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Where'd I put that little wrench? Here's another tool for the cowbell super amplification system. Pass it here. Coming at ya. <laughs> Did you catch it, Martin? Hey, I got it right here. Here you go, Chris. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll find your herd. Yeah! Uh -huh. nice. right, it's finished. 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 This is it. Wanna see how it works? Let's yeah. count to three and say Zaboomafu. Okay. You want to? All right. One, two, three! Zaboomafu! Oh, it didn't work. Hmm? I was sure we put it together right. Do you think maybe this could be the problem? Hey, you did it, Zabu! Well, I don't know what you brothers would do without me. Neither do we, Zab. <laughs> Neither do we. So, should we try it again? Hey, who hubba hubba? Let's count to three. One, two, three! Zabu Mabu! Zabu Mabu! Well, that definitely works. I think everybody heard that one. All we need now is the bell to call the herd to come and get them. Okay, Chewy, we have to go over to the machine, okay? Yeah, just just um, get yourself up and then we're we're um Chris, Martin, Chewy doesn't want to move. Well, if the cow won't come to the machine, bring the machine to the cow. We're ready to ring the cow. Bell. All right, is it all set, Martin? All ready. Here goes. Worked. Did you hear that? Did you see that? They're here! The herd! It worked! The herd is here! Your herd heard the bell, and now they're here! 
here. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're free to go home. So long. Au reservoir. Our feet are staying. See you later. Duck! It's help me, duck! Hit the dirt! Nice landing. A great horned owl. I don't think it's in my mouth. Thanks, Chris. No problem, Doc. <laughs> Hi there. I think I'll call you Link. Now, how's that? Do you like that? Yeah, I thought you would. And so will the animal helpers. Let's see what they're up to. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Amy here with my friend, Lara. We're searching for creatures with her father. Stop the car! Look over there. A herd of bison. And they have some babies. Bison are related to cows, but they're wild animals. And like all wild creatures, you have to give them their space. Especially when there are babies around. Hey, Lara, check out those two big ones. They're powerful. Sometimes, the best way to be a creature adventurer is to be one in the car. That way you and the creature are safe. <gasps> It's so fine being bovine. Yeah, and I know another place to find some more fine bovines. Mm. Just what I was thinking, bro. So then I guess you're probably going to the closet? You guessed right. Mm. To, to the, the closet! closet. Huh? They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. All right, it's now or never. Do it, brother. Whoa! <laughs> you can always count on the closet to do what the closet does best. Bike helmets, got them. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. See you later, Zabu. Bye, brothers. We're here in Pature, India. And in India, there are lots of people. Around here, where there are people, there are cows. Cows everywhere. Cows in the fields. Cows in people's yards. Cows in people's houses. Cows in the middle of the road! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> cows doing whatever they want. We've got to check this out. Cows come and go in and out of the house whenever they please, just like dogs or cats at your house. And if you're a calf, one of the good things about being in and around the house at night is that it protects you from tigers and leopards. <laughs> is this your buddy? In India, cows are definitely buddies. <laughs> They're a huge part of the Indian way of life. And believe it or not, cows keep people warm. And I'm not just talking about hugging. That's right, cow poop is made into patties and then dried and used as a fuel for fires. That helps keep people warm and they can cook with it. <sighs> Nanu and Bai are gonna show us another great way to use cow poop. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> yes. Whoa, this is great in here. See, every day they polish their floors with cow poop polish. That helps keep things looking clean and dust free. It starts out wet, but then over here you can see where it's dried. Nice, yeah, this right. is a nice place. I like your house. And when the cows come out of the house in the morning, they head straight for the hay. Time to milk the cows, then it's off to the fields. Out to the fields, guys. Cows spend most of the middle of their day grazing, filling up their bellies with grass. And while they do that, it's time for us to get back to Animal Junction. Hey, do you guys know how we can get back? <laughs> Our bikes are broken. That way? All right. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can find some other way back. Hey, everybody's going that way. Hey, where are you going? Everybody's going that way. <laughs> no, that way, the whole herd's moving that way. Huh. Maybe we should just follow her. Follow her? What's my brother talking about? Follow her to where? <laughs> That's it! Of course! Well, it's not as fast as mountain biking, but these cows are a lot more defendable. <laughs> Thanks for letting 
letting us ride with your cows. That was so great! It's so fine being bovine. Who knows what's gonna happen next? It's very quiet in there. I wonder what Zabu's doing. Let's go find out. Hey, look who's here. It's Big Red. The Red Kangaroo. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> All right. Whoa. Hey, where's Zabu? Oh, yeah, where is he? Zabu? Zabu! Zabumafu! Zabu! Where are you, buddy? Where is that leaping lemur? This isn't too bad. It's kind of comfy. I can just get my leg I wonder what's wiggling around in there. Well, the best way to find out is to tickle it! Oh. <laughs> no, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I can't, I can't take it anymore! Stop tickling! Stop tickling! What are you doing in there, Zabu? Oh, well, I'm being a baby kangaroo. Well, they live in their mom's pouches until they're old enough to go out on their own. And since Big Red is a boy kangaroo, well, I had to find my own pouch to climb into, because boy kangaroos don't have a pouch. Well, just mom kangaroos have pouches, because just mom kangaroos have babies. And while I was inside, I started thinking about one time in Sabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I bumped into oh, Narchi. Uh -oh. Oof! Oh, hi, Narchi. Hi, Zob. Oh, oh, hi, Noggin Drill. Hi, Zob. Where are you going? I'm uh, heading home, Zob. Move over. I'm heading home. Oh, hey, can I come over? Oh. Uh, I've never even seen your home. Uh, you no, no, no can do. Oh. Well, why not? Uh, b because. Why not? Because. But why not? Uh, well, uh, because my house is just too messy, okay? Oh. Huh? Oh. So why doesn't Narchi clean it? Well, oh. my nose does have a vacuum feature. Yeah. Well, okay, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of dirt down there. I, I don't know. You Give it a try, it. Narchi. All right, stand aside. Coming through. All right. <clears throat> and now, now, careful with the fragile. <laughs> oh, great job, Narch. Well, now you can both come in. Yeah. Thank you. yeah here I go. Come oh, on now. Here oh. goes. Watch out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow, this is a great underground house. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, come on, let's uh, race around my tunnel. The end. <laughs> So, uh, did you like that story? Well, I got lots more if you want to hear them. Hey, Zabu, huh? maybe he's hungry. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Let's go get a snack. <laughs> Let's see what the snack machine has for a kangaroo. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Again. Oh, don't worry, Big Red. I'll get this machine fixed. Here goes. Where is that drill? Oh. <laughs> I had it in my pouch. What for, Zob? Oh, well, you never know when you might need a drill. <laughs> okay, Big Red, I'll have this snack machine fixed before you can, uh, well, before you can leap across Animal Junction. Take your mark, Big Red. Oh, get ready! No, I got set! Big Red's ready. Zabu's set. How about here? Yeah. Big Red's finished! So Zabu! Uh-oh. I fixed it. Kangaroos are like the cows of Australia. They roam around grazing on all kinds of vegetation. Kangaroos aren't bovines, but they do some of the same things cows do, like hang out in big groups. But these groups aren't herds. They're called mobs. Talking about cows, a kangaroo regurgitates his food, too. He throws it up so he can chew it again. Yeah, cows and kangaroos eat and digest grass in the same way. They eat it, spit it up, and eat it again. Oh, so they're double chewers. That's right, Zob, they're double chewers. And you know what else? What? <laughs> they can go for months without drinking water. They just get it from the food they eat. Check this out. Look at how the kangaroo holds on to the piece of celery while he's eating it. He uses his forelegs almost like hands. Watch the way he grabs this. I use my hands to eat, too. Well, I guess he's full. Hey, brothers. I was a monk at Sika baby kangaroo, wasn't I? The best, Zabu. Hmm. Except maybe for a real baby kangaroo. What do you think, Big Red? I guess it's a lot easier being a baby kangaroo if you really are a baby kangaroo. But I was pretty good at pretending. And I bet you are, too. <laughs> Everybody likes to jump like a kangaroo. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his body behind. All the friends that we met today are special.
special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal. We're both sleepers, so we're gonna leap off home together. <laughs> Bye! See you later, Zabu. Let's all keep on leaping. We'll see you later. Bye! Hi, my name is Jiren. This is my pet, Red Lantern. <laughs>